Okay. Oh, we got Larry. She don't want to break my camera. Get too much. Hey, Larry. Hey, Heather, how you liking school? Yeah, Larry, I was glad you used my answer machine. Ew. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, if I could start everything with prayer, I was praying. Almighty oh, God, our Heavenly Father, we come before you at this hour, asking your blessing upon us, dear God, asking you to guide these two in the life and the decision they're about to make. Help them, Lord, and they walk in a mind and be pleasing in your sight. Go with us and bless us in all that we do. As we ask through Jesus Christ our Lord. Mm -hmm. As a minister, I always like to take a few minutes to admonish the couple to live as God would have them to live. If I wasn't, I didn't do that, it wouldn't be a good ministry. Uh, according to God's plan, the man and wife live together. Christ told them that when he was on earth, that from the beginning it was God's will that to be one man and one woman. And I'm assuming that you fellas already have some knowledge of this already, so we'll not get a long time on this. But I do want you to understand that uh, it is a charge of God. If you're interested in doing what God says, that you're entering a contract with each other. And if you consider yourself in the presence of God, then God is a witness to the contract that you're about to make. So, uh, with that understood, I'm sure you all understand that already, but the preacher has to say something when he tells me. Uh, let's just go on with the ceremony then. By His grace, we have come to this moment. Uh, Larry, do you take this woman whom you hold with the right hand? I promise love, cherish, and honor, keep her in sickness and health and poverty and in wealth, for better or worse, and to be faithful to Sally so long as you both shall live. Okay. Um, Sally, in taking this man whom you hold the hand, do you promise to love, cherish, and honor him, keep him in sickness and health and poverty and wealth, for better or worse, and be faithful to Larry, as long as you both shall live. Okay. You have rings. We go ahead and exchange them. And the fact that you have exchanged rings and promised these vows before this gathering. My privilege and honor as a minister of the gospel and by the authority of the state, I pronounce you man and wife. Okay. Okay. <laughs> 
kiss now, right fast. Okay, thank you. <laughs> after boy. <laughs> You're an after shot, Libby. You're okay. Oh, God. That's real good. Go stand with him, Heather. There you go. She's not a big talker. Oh. Pretty little girl. You kill her, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Are you holding his bouquet still? <laughs> you like that? Can I see it, Billy? Yeah, yeah, you hold it. Well, maybe I'll get you. <laughs> Sally, bring him over here under the slide. Like, Sam. Jane, you want to hold him? <laughs> well, come over here and you hold him. It's your grandbaby. <laughs> Let me get a close-up of him. Oh, he's good. He's in a good light. That's my sister Carmen. That's my sister Donna. Let Janie have him sound. <laughs> That's her boy Donnie Ray. Then my Donna. Oh. I want to hold him. Oh, <laughs> oh. He's a dog. <laughs> He's not gonna wake up. He woke up. No, he's not gonna open your mind. Everybody's just getting undressed. He's too tired. He's been through this wedding thing. <laughs> <laughs> and he started screaming. Aww. Look how that ugly. Yeah, you got his eyes open a little bit. He's sleepy. Uh, oh. That's just the end of the whole time. Yeah, barely though. He's too so tired. I'll have more of a baby than you are. Call me about some kids. Here's Sally right there. There you go. I like Vicky. What a good feature. Yeah, that Vicky did because. Yeah, that's if we hit the ground. Vicky was so pretty funny. Who's that woman? That ain't the one you married. Here, let me get it. I'm getting this good now. Oh, yeah, hold it. Don't move it. What a ugly thing I see right there. He's just saying that's fine. <laughs> 